Hey, what's up? Welcome to Live.BestTechNology, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. A few days ago, I got a question via Scribit, the uh, widget on my blog, which I did a video on a few weeks ago, um, about how do you keep Vista running smoothly? That's a great question. It was sent by an anonymous Scribit user, and uh, we're going to talk about ways to keep Vista running smoothly. The best ways to do this are simply first of all when you when you when you uh, buy a computer whether it come with Vista or you bought it with XP and you're planning on upgrading to Vista make sure your system can can handle Vista and then some don't just go by the minimum requirements of Vista that that's a bad mistake that a lot of people are making Vista Vista is a uh, very power hungry uh, operating system don't get me wrong I love Vista but it does require that you have decent system specs. I recommend at least a Core 2 Duo um, E6600, which is uh, the, most machines today are have better processors than that. At least two gigabytes of RAM and a very and a decent graphics card. Um, at least an NVIDIA 7600 GT or an equivalent of that um, to get the best, you know, experience with Vista. You need at least a dual core. Um, Intel chip, or a high uh, a dual core AMD, you know something in that range, and at least two gigabytes of RAM and a decent video card. So that that's first off the bat. Don't cheap out on the system. Buy a decent system, and I recommend the best way when you have Vista is to either have Home Premium or Ultimate. Those are really the only two ways to go, in my opinion. Uh, also, run disk cleanup every once in a while. Believe it or not, disk cleanup will tr will improve performance of your machine. When, it, when you notice slowdowns with Vista. So do that. Also, believe it or not, this is another thing. If you, The more icons on your desktop, the worse you are. Um, try and keep your desktop as clean as possible. That's the best way, to, the best route to go when you're looking to um, keep performance the way it is. Especially on startup. The less icons on your desktop, the less things that you have running on startup, meaning in your system tray as well. You want to keep your system tray as clean as possible too. So do that as well. Um, also, you got to make sure that you run anti-spyware and anti and anti uh, anti malware, anti-spyware, antivirus applications. I, of course, I recommend malware bytes anti-malware and NOD32 for an antivirus. Both very good pieces of software. Run those occasionally. Make sure there's nothing bad on your system. Keep it nice and clean. That'll help it keep running smoothly. Um, every every once in a while, you want to clear your temp files. That goes along with this cleanup. If you use Firefox, make sure you clear the cache every once in a while. Um, these are all things that will help improve performance. Then again, you also need to run defrag. Um, defrag is what keeps your fragmentation, keeps the fragmentation of the files on your on your hard drive down. The more fragmented the files are, the more the slower the machine gets. Now, in Vista, um, I've mentioned this before that it actually runs by default every night I'm um, in the middle of the night when you're supposed to be sleeping although not everyone does sleep in the middle of the night like they're supposed to uh, besides that it does run at night in the background and uh, whether you know it or not it is set to do that by default so that'll help it, um, that it's running every night it would help um, also you know there uh, there's things aside from that um, Keep applications that you don't use. If you don't use an application, uninstall it. Make sure there's plenty of hard drive space available at all times. And these are these are these tips can be on um, basically any Windows operating system, even even non-Windows operating systems like Linux or OS 10. Some of these things apply to them as well. So keep these in mind. Don't don't keep applications installed that you don't use or useless applications. Don't install you know screensavers and fonts and you know, excessive amounts. Keep try and keep them to a minimum. If you're going to install them, they do slow down your machine quite a lot. So keep those types of things um, not installed on your machine. Also, any applications that you don't really use, uninstall them. If I mean, they're only taking up space. If you don't use it, uninstall. It. You don't need it then. If you haven't touched it, I would say in about two to three months, chances are you're not going to use it. And if you do, you'll reinstall it. So these are tips. The way you keep Vista and the other Windows operating system running as smoothly as possible. I'm going to look at the chat. Let's see if there's anyone out there who has anything in the chat. What do you guys think? Are there anything, is there anything else that you, uh, you would recommend in terms of how to keep Vista running smoothly? Uh, Kobe says no. Looks like 
Um, Kevin has, has said something. Oh, no. Everyone's saying defragment. Um, someone, Jordan from the chat room says defragler is a good third-party application. I've never used defragler, um, but we'll ha I'll check it out. And I'll put a link to it since Jordan says it's pretty decent. Adaware is uh, DJ Big is saying Adaware. Uh, Adaware is okay. Um, I recommend Malware Bytes as anti-malware, of course. I'll put a link to that in the chat, in the show notes, in the blog post as well. Um, Edward is decent, but it, there's better stuff out there on the market right now. Um, so check that out. AVG is actually not, um, Ozzy says AVG, but AVG is actually um, going away from the free version, as I mentioned before. So try and, uh, Avast is a good one for, for still free and still free. Antivir is a good one, still free. Um, NOD32 is my favorite. It's not free. It's 40 bucks a year, but it's very good. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'm going to post this on the blog, and hopefully this answers your question, whoever asked it. And uh, this has been live.bestticket.net. And, of course, we're live, even streaming, not all the time, but even if I'm not streaming, we have the chat room going on right now. We have 82 people right here on Monday morning at 11.30 a.m. And, uh, you know, you can come on say hi or... If you have a question, cannot wait, post on our support forums, best ticket on it, slash forums, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.